Ladies, I'm Laura Vitale, and on this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I wanted to share with you my version on a, you know, an Indian butter chicken. Now, this by no means am I saying it is an authentic recipe for Indian butter chicken, but it is my version of it, and I think it's absolutely delicious. And this is my go-to dish when we go to our favorite Indian restaurant. I always order the butter chicken. It's my favorite, and it's Joe's favorite as well. So I like to recreate it at home because, as a lot of you know, we live in a small town very far away from a lot of places. So the closest place that we go to for Indian is about 45 minutes away. So when th those nights come that we're really craving it, but we don't want to do you know, when I want to make the 45 minute drive, we make it at home and this is how I make it. It's been wildly requested, so I'm happy to share it with you. I want to take you over the ingredients just for the marinade. What I have here is some boneless, skinless chicken thighs that I've chopped in sort of large chunks and I have some of the fat on there because that's going to give me a lot of flavor. And then I've got some grated ginger and garlic, chili powder and salt, and I also have some yogurt. This is going to be for the marinade, and then I'll show you the remaining ingredients you'll need to make the sauce. So, it's gonna be easier. I'm gonna add my yogurt. This is just plain yogurt, adding that to my bowl, and then I'm also gonna add in the chicken. Now, you can use chicken breast if you want to, but really try and use the chicken thighs if you can, because dark meat chicken has so much more flavor, stays so tender, and really sort of melts in your mouth, which is what I want. But you, by all means, can use chicken breast if you want to. I just prefer the thighs. And now I'm just giving this a really good stir. I want to make sure that my ginger and my yogurt and my chili, it's all mixed together well. This looks great. Now, the place we go to for Indian food, I know that when they make butter chicken or even their chicken tikka masala or any kind of chicken curry, they use tandoori chicken. So it's chicken that they roast in a tandoori oven and then they add it to the sauce. Now, I don't have a tandoori oven, um, but this works really, really well and just the flavor of this is fantastic. I'm gonna cover this with some plastic wrap. I'm gonna pop this into the fridge for about 30 minutes or you can even do it overnight and then we'll make the sauce. My chicken was in the fridge for about an hour and a half. Now, ideally, you let this go for three or four hours or overnight for like best results. But I'm impatient and I want to get to eating dinner, so an hour and a half will do. Now, I have my oven preheated to 475, and I also have a baking sheet that I've lined with some aluminum foil. And what I'm going to do, if I can stop making such a ruckus, I'm going to take my chicken pieces and I'm going to put them onto my baking sheet. Now, I traditionally, again, you can grill these or you can uh, roast them in a tandoori oven. I don't have one of those, so regular oven will do. Now, I'm going to take my chicken. I don't really know what I'm doing one piece at a time. I'm going to take my chicken and I'm going to put it in one single layer. And I'm going to pop this into the oven for about 10 minutes. And then what I'm going to do is just turn on my broiler for like a minute just to sort of char very top of my chicken and then that will be done. So I'm going to pop this into the oven for 10 minutes, turn on my broiler for about two minutes or until the top is nice and sort of it's developed a good amount of color and then we'll make the sauce. While my chicken's in the oven, I want to run through the ingredients for you to make the sauce. We'll need some tomato puree, I've got some chopped up onion, garlic and ginger, a little bit of butter, I've got some cumin seeds and coriander seeds, some garam masala, chili powder, a little tiny bit of dried fenugreek leaves, a little water, you'll also need some vegetable oil, some cori fresh coriander, cilantro, heavy cream and some salt. Now I've got a skillet here with high size with about a tablespoon of olive oil and to that I want to add in a couple tablespoons of butter. Now it is called butter chicken but to be very honest with you, I don't know and you'll have to let me know if, if you know anything about this, this recipe um, sort of where it originated from. Originally does it have butter in it? I, from what I've, from what I've read, from what I've heard that it does and it's sort of like a luxurious dish that you present to guests when they're coming over um, because it is quite rich but I just add a couple tablespoons to really make that sauce velvety and buttery and delicious just like when we get it at our favorite um, Indian restaurant. So while my butter is melting, I am going to add my whole spices which are my cumin seeds and my coriander seeds. And that way it can sort of start to bubble up and release your beautiful flavor. Adding in my ginger, garlic and onion. And now I'm just going to cook these together and you can smell like this incredible smell of, of 
spices and the ginger and the spicy garlic. It just smells fantastic. I just want to cook everything together for a few minutes or until the onions sort of become translucent. Add my spices. Just going to stir them in with the oil. It really releases their oils and their fragrance. Ooh, ooh, that smells good. Okay, my tomato puree. Get it all out, lovely and thick. And then I just want to thin this out with a little bit of water. Beautiful. Now I'm going to bring this up to a boil in which time my chicken should be ready. It has just a couple more minutes in the oven and I'm going to turn the boiler on for like a minute and then by that point this should be boiling and then we'll sort of combine the two together and keep on going. My chicken was under the broiler for just a couple of minutes and now be careful, you want to keep an eye on it because all broilers are different and some get ferociously hot in like 30 seconds. Mine took about, I'd say maybe two and a half minutes or so. And I'm not looking for this whole thing to be sort of deeply, deeply brown. I just want one side of it to have really good color because it's going to simmer in the sauce for about 15, 20 minutes. And that's where it's going to get all the beautiful flavors from the spices and the sauce. And then the chicken's going to lend its flavor to the sauce. It's really like a match made in food heaven. And I want to give this a really good stir. Beautiful. And I love a lot of sauce with my butter chicken. So you could certainly add more chicken to this if you wanted to, but you'd have less sauce. Now I'm going to partially cover this and let it simmer on about medium heat for about 20 minutes. And then we are ready to pretty much finish it. It's that easy. That looks magnificent. It's been cooking for about 20 minutes. I just want to season it a little bit with some salt. And now I'm going to add in, I'm actually going to turn this down. I'm going to add in some heavy cream. Now, you do need the heavy cream for that really sort of luxurious buttery cream and then some dried fenugreek leaves. A little bit goes a long way and they really do add a really, really, it's almost, I can't even describe how the, the taste of fenugreek leaves, but if you don't have any, you can leave them out of this recipe. I can't find them in my local grocery store, so I just order them online. And I'm going to give this a really good stir and I just want to cook this together for, I'm going to also add some fresh cilantro. I'll save the rest for the top. And I want to cook this for about five minutes. I don't want to boil this because if you boil heavy cream, it will split and it will be a mess and then you'll cry and then you'll tell me it's my fault. Um, but you don't want this to boil. You want it to just simmer gently for about five, six minutes or so. You just want that cream to heat through and then we are ready to serve. And that smells amazing. That is completely done. Now, if you want your sauce to be really, really smooth, then you can puree it before you add the chicken in. Um, you can puree your onions and your ginger and your tomatoes. That way you have it completely smooth. I really don't mind having it a little, I won't even say chunky, but having little bits of onions going through. And I don't want to pull out my blender or anything like that. So I am ready. And look how gorgeous that is. I've got some spiced yellow rice that I'm serving this with, but some garlic naan would be perfect though if I had some, which I don't. A little fresh cilantro, and I am ready to dig in. Look at this. Look how tender this is. You see that? And this is why I use chicken thighs, you guys. Look at this. You don't even need a knife. Mm. My oven's yelling at me. I'm very excited about this. That is, mm, I don't even know. Let me taste it again so I can explain. Truly, absolutely, like it's melting in my mouth. I don't even have to chew. It's truly fantastic. Authentic or not, it is de delicious and if you are anything like me where you love Indian food but it's really hard for you to get it and your butter chicken is your favorite you need this dish in your life. LaraInTheKitchen.com will have the recipe waiting for you. I hope that you enjoy spending time with me giving me a thumbs up for this recipe and let me know what dishes you want to see me make maybe from your part of the world. I would absolutely love to explore different cuisines and make all of you happy. Hope you enjoy spending time with me and I'll see you next time. Bye!